what is the policy of your ministry? Of course, uh, this is uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, and uh, our responsibility is to promote Cyprus politically, economically, uh, culturally, and uh, in many other uh, fields uh, through our uh, relationship uh, and our contacts uh, and our agreements that we signed with uh, almost all uh, countries, uh, members of the, Europe of the uh, European Union, of course, and of the United Nations uh, at the same time. Okay. What would you say are your leading objectives? The leading obje objectives is to promote uh, the image of Cyprus uh, not only in business, but uh, as uh, an important uh, uh, country in the easternmost part of the European uh, Union. We are a member of the European Union since uh, 2004 and member of the Eurozone uh, since uh, 2008. And why we are at the easternmost part of the European Union. And in that uh, particular uh, specific location, which is a very strategically uh, located uh, uh, country, uh, we uh, serve and we have served as a bridge uh, for many years between the European Union and uh, the Middle East. Uh, okay. uh, just to remind uh, some examples uh, which uh, are very uh, uh, relevant but also of interest for the United States uh, in 1982-83 uh, when uh, the uh, US Marines were attacked uh, in Lebanon, uh, Cyprus uh, served uh, to evacuate and was a safe haven for, um, for the U.S. Marines yes, and the U.S. troops. Uh, also in 2006, um, thousands of uh, American citizens and uh, other uh, EU and other third country citizens uh, uh, were evacuated through Cyprus uh, because of the Lebanese uh, crisis. Also during the uh, uh, Egypt uh, uprising uh, in uh, the beginning of uh, 2011, Cyprus also facilitated U.S. Uh, military um, air force uh, uh, to evacuate thousands of, uh, of U.S. citizens and other citizens from, uh, from Egypt. From Egypt. So wow, okay. the uh, location of Cyprus is uh, very strategic uh, and uh, we have uh, served and we continue to serve as a safe haven for uh, evacuation in cases of crisis in our immediate surroundings. Okay. And there's quite a lot of that going on in, in the immediate surroundings at the unfortunately. moment. Unfortunately. So what would you say, I mean, given all this, uh, such an important position strategically and both being English-speaking and part of the EU, mm -hmm. what are the main challenges that you find being on kind of right in the middle of both sides of the world? Uh, we have a number of uh, new challenges. Uh, one of them is uh, the ongoing exploration for uh, natural gas. Uh, I would say that uh, this is the most um, important challenge that we're facing uh, right now. Uh, it's uh, an important um, exploration and uh, hopefully discovery. Uh, it uh, seems that uh, there are very large quantities of uh, oil and natural gas in the Eastern Mediterranean, in particular in the uh, Levantine uh, Basin, where um, uh, most of our uh, uh, blocks uh, are located. Currently, uh, we are cooperating with uh, a very important American company, uh, Noble Energy, that uh, was the first company to uh, receive uh, a license uh, for exploration and uh, uh, drilling uh, in uh, one of the blocks, uh, one of the 13 blocks uh, in an exclusive economic zone. Uh, it is estimated that uh, from some preliminary um, uh, data we have received that uh, from three to nine uh, cubic uh, feet, a trillion cubic feet uh, of natural gas uh, are located in that particular block. Uh, and uh, of course, in the surrounding areas, uh, 3.9 trillion. Yes, <laughs> uh, in the surrounding areas, uh, in the Leviathan and Tamar uh, sites uh, in uh, Israel, uh, uh, several more uh, trillion um, uh, cubic feet of natural gas were discovered already, and they are under production. Uh, we are. We have announced also the preparation of the second licensing uh, for. Uh, uh, exploration and production, uh, which uh, will uh, take place uh, in the beginning of uh, 2012. Uh, and um, in this second licensing, we will have all the 13 uh, blocks, uh, remaining 13 blocks uh, uh, for uh, licensing. There is already a lot of interest, uh, not only from American companies, but uh, from uh, companies uh, from uh, EU member states uh, and also a number of third countries uh, 
will participate in this second licensing. So I would say that this is, from the economic point of view, uh, our biggest uh, challenge uh, right now, uh, uh, because this uh, will um, create new job opportunities, uh, will uh, create uh, uh, more economic stability, not only for these generations, but uh, for the gener generations to come. What are some of your other milestones? Of course, uh, we have developed Cyprus in, uh, in recent years uh, as uh, a very important services uh, center and business center. Uh, at the same time, Cyprus is uh, one of the most important uh, maritime uh, clusters uh, in uh, not only in the region, but I would say in the world. Uh, let me start from the second, uh, because of my former capacity as Minister of Transport. Uh, until okay. recently, I was Minister of Transport. Uh, Cyprus ranks 10th in the world. Uh, as far as uh, ownership of uh, vessels uh, is concerned. Uh, and we are third in the European Union. So uh, despite the smallness of our size, we have developed uh, our fleet. Uh, but also we have developed Cyprus into a very, very important uh, ship management and uh, ship charterer uh, center uh, in, the, uh, in the world. We are the, uh, I would say, the most important ship management and ship chartering uh, uh, center in the world. Uh, we have uh, introduced uh, last year a very important uh, new tonnage tax system, uh, which is uh, approved uh, by the European uh, Union, uh, and which uh, is very attractive uh, to a number of companies that want to uh, either register their uh, vessels under the Cyprus flag, or uh, to uh, have uh, ship management uh, or uh, ship chartering. This ta new tax, uh, tonnage tax system applies both for ownership uh, as well as management and chartering uh, of uh, vessels. Uh, so um, uh, there is uh, not only an increased interest, but also many companies uh, are registering now in uh, Cyprus their business uh, and increasing the importance of Cyprus as a maritime cluster. At the same time, we have uh, a very attractive uh, uh, tax regime for corporations. Uh, it is the lowest tax uh, in the European Union. It's a 10% uh, tax. Uh, but this uh, coupled uh, with uh, almost 45 uh, uh, double taxation avoidance uh, agreements uh, that uh, we have signed with uh, almost 40 uh, countries, uh, that uh, makes Cyprus a very safe uh, friendly, uh, but also, uh, I would say, sustainable uh, uh, and effective uh, uh, center for um, doing business either in Cyprus or from Cyprus uh, in the global market. Uh, so uh, we have uh, over 250,000 companies registered uh, in Cyprus benefiting from, uh, from this environment. Uh, and, um, of course, uh, our uh, target is uh, to uh, increase the importance of Cyprus uh, and, of course, reach out uh, to more American companies, more European companies uh, to uh, establish uh, Cyprus as their jurisdiction and uh, do business from Cyprus towards uh, either European countries or uh, uh, countries in the Near East uh, and uh, Russia in Central uh, Europe uh, and uh, other uh, destinations. Uh, Cyprus also is a very important tourist uh, destination, as you know. Uh, we have uh, over 10,000 years of uh, history and culture. Uh, archaeologically, Cyprus is one of the most important countries in the world. Uh, there, is, uh, there are uh, many uh, natural attractions, uh, beaches, uh, uh, five, six-star uh, hotels uh, that uh, provide comfort uh, to uh, travelers, uh, and um, also very other, very important other uh, interesting um, uh, locations where a family can spend uh, a very nice um, period of their vacation. Uh, we have over two million um, uh, tourists uh, every year. Uh, and there are over uh, 7 million uh, travelers uh, through our two brand new airports, uh, which, uh, by the way, uh, were uh, constructed uh, a couple of years ago uh, through a public-private uh, partnership uh, system. So we okay. did not pay anything uh, for, uh, for the building of, this, uh, uh, of these airports. So they are very modern, they are very friendly. 
uh, and uh, I think they have contributed also to increasing our tourism uh, during the past uh, couple of years. Uh, we have travelers from uh, destinations uh, from all over the world. Uh, uh, most of our um, tourists are from the UK, the Nordic countries, uh, Russia, uh, as well as um, uh, countries of the Arab uh, and uh, the Gulf uh, states. Okay. Unfortunately, not many from the United States, and this is something we want to correct. Okay. And how, how do you feel like would be an effective way to attract more U.S. investment and businesses? A direct flight between the United States and, uh, and um, uh, Cyprus uh, would be uh, one such uh, uh, ideal uh, development. Uh, and, uh, of course, we had some uh, direct flights in the past. Uh, which contributed to increase of, uh, of the tourist uh, arrivals uh, from the United States. So this is one uh, further promotion of our uh, country in the United States uh, uh, would, uh, would be also uh, very important. Uh, but this gives me also the opportunity to invite uh, American citizens to visit Cyprus. It's a very beautiful place, uh, a place where one can spend um, memorable uh, vacations. Uh, but also, uh, if you have children, uh, learn a lot uh, about the history, not of, only of the island, but also of the surrounding of, area. Of the world, really. Of the world. Yeah. Um, how would you describe the <coughs> economic situation and development since then, over the past five years? Of course, uh, Cyprus has also been affected, uh, as uh, was natural, uh, from the economic crisis that has um, affected uh, the entire world, including the United States and Europe. Uh, but I think we are on the right uh, track. Uh, we have um, adopted, uh, uh, so far, three packages of measures uh, to streamline our budget uh, and our expenses. Uh, at the same time, uh, trying to boost um, our development uh, projects, uh, but uh, uh, also uh, keeping um, our citizens uh, content uh, uh, and um, not reducing uh, the social benefits that we have uh, been granting uh, to the most vulnerable uh, groups uh, of our population. So it was a very balanced uh, uh, system of measures uh, that uh, on the one hand, uh, has reduced the budget uh, considerably, uh, reduced uh, the, the public uh, deficit, uh, at the same time uh, promoting, uh, promoting development. Uh, we have one of the highest uh, rates of growth uh, in the Eurozone, uh, so this is good. Uh, so we hope that uh, with all these measures that we have adopted, uh, uh, 2012 uh, will be much better, and definitely 2013, 14, uh, and the years to come uh, uh, will uh, correct uh, any deficiencies that we had because uh, of the economic crisis. crisis. <clears throat> and what would you say that the crisis uh, effect and influence on your sector in particular was? Um, I would say that uh, the, the, most, uh, the, the sector which was most affected by the crisis was the construction uh, sector, as was the case, of course, with uh, uh, most of the other countries that have been uh, affected. Uh, but as I said, uh, because of uh, the cooperation between the government uh, and the private sector uh, in, the construction, uh, uh, in the construction area, uh, I think that uh, we are trying to contain uh, the side effects uh, of, uh, of this crisis. Uh, uh, apart from the two airports that I have mentioned, uh, we are now building uh, uh, a new port uh, and a new marina in Larnaca. Uh, and uh, this is also a private-public pri uh, partnership. And also there are um, in the pipeline uh, projects uh, for marinas in uh, Paphos in, in Agia Napa and in Limassol, and all these are private-public uh, partnership. Uh, so the government is trying to boost uh, the, uh, the construction uh, area uh, with this kind of cooperation, uh, and uh, we hope uh, that uh, with all these measures that we have taken, 2012-13 um, and the following years will be much better. Okay. What would you say currently is the image of Cyprus in, in the global community, and what image would you like to communicate about the Foreign Affairs Ministry? 
In Cyprus, as I said, is, uh, is a natural bridge. Uh, is a natural bridge uh, politically, economically. Uh, it is uh, located uh, in a very strategic area, but also at the crossroads uh, of uh, three continents uh, and three different civilizations. Uh, and, and this location has benefited Cyprus uh, over the centuries. Uh, Cyprus was one of the most important mar maritime centers in antiquity. Uh, both as far as uh, shipping is concerned, uh, uh, as well as uh, in commerce. Cyprus was one of the most uh, important uh, copper-producing uh, uh, countries uh, in uh, uh, ancient times. Uh, so, and this was because of its uh, strategic location, uh, very close to Africa, Asia, and Europe. Uh, so, and this was also a cradle of civilizations. Uh, and this is why we have such uh, a rich, uh, cultural uh, heritage, which is visible wherever you go. Uh, so um, uh, we are uh, trying to uh, currently promote uh, the image of Cyprus, uh, uh, especially as a bridge, uh, a political bridge, I would say, between Europe uh, and uh, uh, the Middle East and North Africa, especially with the developments that are, are taking place um, in our neighborhood because of the um, Arab Spring and the uprising in uh, a number of uh, important countries uh, in our region. Next year, when we have our presidency of the European uh, Union, the second part of 2012, one of the uh, priorities and the highlights uh, of our, our presidency is uh, the relationship uh, between the European Union and the Arab countries. Uh, so we are uh, hosting uh, a ministerial meeting of ministers of foreign affairs, uh, of um, the European Union and the League of Arab States. Uh, and I think right. this is very timely, very important uh, development, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, a lot of issues will be discussed a and a lot of uh, decisions for cooperation uh, will be uh, taken at that uh, meeting. At the same time, of course, we have uh, excellent relations with Israel as well, uh, not only in the energy sector, uh, but in many other important areas uh, benefiting uh, both countries. Now, if you had one unified message that you could give to our investors, readers, and viewers, uh, what would your personal message to them be? Visit Cyprus, do business in Cyprus, enjoy Cyprus. Uh, these are three uh, messages that I would uh, send. Uh, Cyprus is a very beautiful place. It's a very safe place uh, for uh, families but also a very safe uh, place for uh, companies uh, doing business in Cyprus, a very friendly environment, uh, a very sophisticated, I would say, environment. Uh, uh, English is widely spoken in the entire island, uh, and uh, uh, I'm sure that all uh, visitors, uh, travelers, uh, but also companies and their workforce uh, will have an enjoyable stay uh, in our island.